To access our resources, scroll down and select either Google Classroom or Microsoft Educator Center. If you're interested in joining the Google Classroom, first highlight and copy the class code. Then click on the icon, which will bring you directly to your sign-in account. Select the account you would like to join with. If you join with a school account, please be aware you may need to notify your school IT department and have them grant access to the Special Olympics domain. You should have no problem with joining with a personal account. Once in, you will be brought to the main class page. Select the plus sign and the join class in the upper corner, and then paste the class code 6BZGIIX. Click join and you will be granted access into the Google Classroom of Resources. The streaming page will include a brief description of the resources, as well as an attachment to help you better understand these resources. The streaming page will also include updates in the future. All theme packages are housed under Classwork. Within the Classwork section, you'll see all themes listed at the left of the page. You can select your theme and jump directly to that section, or you can scroll down. Each package is organized in the same format and includes the same components. In order to access our lessons, first click on your desired grade. So let's, for example, pick teamwork in upper elementary. There's a description of how these resources can be used. And as I scroll down, you'll notice all of the attachments. First, click on the Objectives and Standards document. This will open a new tab and bring you to a document with all of the information and all of the lessons organized by objective and standard. This will help you find a lesson that is specific to a standard you're focusing on within your classroom. Let's say, for example, we want to focus on lesson three. I can then go back to the main classroom and then select the teamwork lesson library. Another tab will open and all of the lesson library will be loaded. Every lesson is included with some more details. Click on the hyperlink of your desired lesson, three, and you'll be brought to the master folder. Every master folder of every lesson, of every grade band, of every theme includes an information sheet, an instructional video, and a master copy of the lessons. When you open up the master copy, you will have view only access. In order to save this document and make it your own so you can push it out to students, you will go to File, Make a Copy, Entire Presentation, rename it something that will be meaningful to your class, to you, or to what you're teaching. Then click Folder and click the Back button to bring you out of the Classroom folder and into your drive. Select My Drive and then any desired folder. I'm going to leave it in the main drive section and click OK. While it's loading, I'm going to X out of the master. And you will now see that your own copy of that lesson has been created. This gives you the opportunity to actually engage with each slide and make any edits that you would like. Say, for example, you want to shorten the assignment. You could delete an entire question or a slide in itself. Once it looks the way you want it, you can push it out to students using your learning management system. Remember to always go back to the Google Classroom in order to see answer keys and revisit that lesson li classroom library so you can see the information guides and any other relevant information. At the bottom of the classwork section, there is a educator support section that again reminds you of what the resources include, how to open, save, and edit these resources, and then provide any feedback.